baked ziti for dinner. Okay, so you're adding the sauce to your My ground turkey. Ground turkey that I already cooked. Mm -hmm. And those are the noodles. Mm -hmm. And this these are ziti noodles, right? Yeah, I do the traditional ragu sauce. Okay. And I need this in here. Mmm, very. That looks and delicious. It is. It's so seasoned. There's a piece of thyme. Don't want that in there. And thyme is for seasoning. Yeah, the flavor. Not real chefs. Mm -hmm. Let them know, Mina Mina. <laughs> okay, so we'll stir this up. Now that it's all mixed, I'm going to put it in my foil pan with some cheese. So you pour half, not half, but a quarter of it on the bottom. Okay. Because you have to layer your cheese. And add some cheese. Make sure your hands are clean, guys. And what is this? This is just shredded it's mozzarella? Just mozzarella fancy shredded look cheese. Okay, so that means our oven is ready? Okay, so you preheat the oven to what? I do 400. Okay. Because the cheese is Okay. Then you do it again. Repeat step one. There you go. So now that that's there, we'll do the last cheese. This is so fattening, guys. It's not a diet meal. It's fattening <laughs> as hell. <laughs> Come on, ladies. You got to take a page out this book. You got to keep the man happy. making rice and peas with coconut milk and then I'm gonna fry some chicken my husband is spoiled and greedy obviously it's all seasoned and ready to fry no skin nice and juicy breasts Ooh. this finished frying the chicken and I'm about to stew it and cook it down and have it steam for about mm, 20 minutes. 